Take a look at some headlines. Of course, President Trump left the hospital early last night and he did not miss the opportunity to make himself look like a hero because a short time later, he tweeted out this dramatic movie-like video of his return. I mean, that's a lot of work just to announce that coronavirus is officially in the White House. <laughs> you have to hand it to that production team, though. He's a 74-year-old senior citizen returning from the hospital to receive at-home care, and they made it look like Arnold Schwarzenegger is dropping into Central America to fight the predator. <laughs> That wasn't the only version, though. We actually got our hands on the version with a voiceover, and it's actually better. Have a look. In a world where a billionaire who doesn't pay taxes can get world-class health care while thousands of Americans are sick and dying, one man enjoys free helicopter rides with a military escort and waddling across the White House lawn doing a very silly little wave. <laughs> and whatever that is, so that he can stand on a balcony like a low-rent Evita and salute the service members he has repeatedly called losers. Donald Trump, only in theaters until November 3rd. I... You know, I'd watch it. I would. I'm excited to see... Who, do you think... Who would play coronavirus in that movie? Who would it be? I'd, I'd like to say uh, I'd like to see Willem Dafoe take a bite at the apple. Yes, that's a very good shout. Willem Dafoe, Steve Buscemi, that sort of vibe. Christoph Waltz. Christoph Waltz, or maybe all three of them. Oh yeah, yeah, different ages of the virus. Yeah, it yeah. could be. It could be like if it was animated. It could because you know that ball that they use to show the coronavirus with the little red spikes. They could each. They yeah. could each be a, a red animated spike. Yes. <laughs> yes. So you many know, animals. like one of them's kind of a bit crazy, and <laughs> one of them plays by the rules. The other one's just a maverick. You know. And yeah. like Luis Guzman's on the other side. Like, what are you guys talking about over there? Like, Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get Mike Pence before this is over. <laughs> Then, Trump posted an odd video where he rambled about his leadership and claimed that he may already be immune to the virus. As your leader, I had to do that. I knew there's danger to it, but I had to do it. I stood out front. I led. Nobody that's a leader would not do what I did. And I know there's a risk, there's a danger, but that's okay. And now I'm better, and maybe I'm immune. I don't know. Nobody that's a leader would not do what I did. <laughs> Nobody who speaks English as a first language would not say it how you just not said it. <laughs> also, what's going on with Trump's hands? Look at this, look. His hands, he looks like he's at a subway and he can't decide between a six inch and a foot long. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I... I got dinner plans, but I, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> But now, Trump's wondering if he's immune. Yeah, he's immune, all right. Immune to facts. Yeah. Uh. yeah. That's the one. That's the one that'll get him. That'll take him down. <laughs> that'll take him down. I swear, if there was an audience here, that would have got a standing ovation. <laughs> Can we get that on a T-shirt, Rob? That'd be good. That would be a good bit of merch, that. If there was an audience here, it would be a standing ovation. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he's immune, all right. Immune to facts. <laughs> good That's what I think it is. Good That's timing. It. It's the realization and then good. just. Da <laughs> Meanwhile, the coronavirus breakout in the White House has led to a rather unusual sight. Take a look at this. This is a cleaning team in hazmat suits sanitizing the White House. 
I feel like this was a joke we were making when Trump first got elected. Like, oh, Donald Trump, we're going to have to sanitize the White House. And oh, now, right. literally because of Trump, they are sanitizing the White House. <laughs> wow. But that's not just a safety precaution the White House has started using. It's also how Trump is now getting his spray tans. <laughs> but despite everything, the president continues to appear undaunted. This morning, he tweeted, all caps, feeling great, exclamation point. Well, at least someone is. <laughs> also, Mr. President, thanks for the update on your wife's health. Ooh. Damn. Glad you haven't made this whole thing all about you. <laughs> feeling great. That's not something you say when you're actually feeling great. That's what you say when you just threw up in the bathroom of a bar, <laughs> but you want to rally and keep going. Do you know what I mean? You're like, whoa, we, whoa, we should get you a cab. No, I'm, I'm feeling great. <laughs> I'm feeling great. Let's do some shots. <laughs> but not everyone is buying into Trump's optimistic take on the virus. Facebook and Twitter today blocked a post from the president where he falsely claimed that coronavirus is less deadly than the flu. Great news, everyone. We can 100% trust Facebook again. <laughs> Twitter put a tag on Trump's tweet, which seems impressive until you remember that Twitter will ban you for telling the official Captain Crunch account that Crunch Berries suck. <laughs> I'm not going to go into it, but they do. Uh, <laughs> they've stopped Trump from lying on Facebook and Twitter, which now means Trump will only be able to lie at rallies, press conferences, interviews, debates, fundraising dinners, and when he tells Eric that he's proud of him. <laughs> Moving on, a former employee at a, public at a public library in Austin, Texas, was just accused of stealing printer toner from work and then reselling it online. Over the course of 12 years, he made, this is true, $1.3 million from toner cartridges. <laughs> yeah, that's like six toner cartridges. <laughs> They first became suspicious when the librarian rolled up to Children's Story Hour in a brand-new Lamborghini. <laughs> he did this for 12 years. You just know that he wanted to confess a few years ago, but he's like, guys, I need to admit them. They're like, shh. <laughs> he said, no, no, I have to tell you something. Shh. <laughs> and finally, we wanted to show you this. There's a new Harry Potter chocolate wand. What was that? It was Tim. What was Tim doing? He was announcing the next bump. He was giving us a preview before we oh, go into it. Oh, you were announcing... Wow, this is the last bit of the mono. This is when you decide what yeah. you're going to play for the bump out. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Right. Hang on. Hang on. Is that true? That you decide what you're no. going to bump out by Tim in a microphone going... <laughs> do, 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 uh, it, that's a whack characterization. Well, well, the answer is more sad. It, it's it's like there's already a list, but we're kind of like goldfish, so we forget. And then right. Tim's like, it's like block, block, do, 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 you know, <laughs> people's court, <laughs> and then we do it. <laughs> wow, that's given everyone something to look forward to, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Just you wait, guys. Wait to the end of this mono. If you've not enjoyed the mono, and it's not been our best, I think we can all do that. <laughs> Look, they can't all be winners. It's not bad, you know. It's an attempt at comedy. Uh... <laughs> and finally, we wanted to show you this. There's a new Harry Potter chocolate wand for sale at stores in England, but many shoppers have noticed that the wand resembles a... Well, oh, see no. for yourself. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wow. A recto dildorium. <laughs> <laughs> So far as creating some confusion, kids all over England are like, Mum, where's my wand? And they're like, what wand? Have you got a wand? I don't think you've got a wand, have you? <laughs> but experts say, be careful with this thing because you don't want to use it with someone you don't know very well. You could contract Hogwarts. <laughs> we'll be right back with Whoopi Goldberg, everybody.